Alright, what's going on YouTube? This is episode 3 of Euro Truck Simulator. Now, if you watched the um, previous video, which was the mod I done for the money hack and the experience and level mod, that over here, level 30, which I was level 0 in the first video, and within 3 videos, I can't become level 30. Anyways, check that out if you haven't checked it. If you do want a tutorial on how to mod it, then just please comment in on this video or on the um, when I showed you the mod. And yeah, so let's carry on. So now I've just got to wait for it to load. Yeah, so in the previous video, just a brief um, scenario. What I did was I updated the game to 1.7, which means that there's this new truck, which is a beauty, which is my new Volvo FH16. Um, yeah, and I got that in this update because in the new updates from I think it's 1.7 and up that's where you get um, the new truck and also you get buildings in the game now so the game looks so much more realistic and also you get a new feel in the driving experience so as I've got my new truck and I have got seven million dollars um, oh yeah that's one thing as well which I said in the previous video in the mod video um, I did say dollars on purpose because of the accent um, and if you remember this was euros I've now changed it to pounds which is more better because I do live in the UK and now because I have got my own truck I can now do the freight market which means I don't have to rent any trucks and I'll get the full amount that I need to earn oh yeah and if you didn't spot oh, I'll just show you when we get onto the road so let's see so we are in London we might as well discover the whole of UK first. I think that would be the better thing to do. So, um, wait, we are in London, so we would rather get um, something from London first because we don't want to drive somewhere and then pick up a delivery. Ooh, let's see. There's this London to wherever that place is. Um, Calais, no, Paris. Where are the other jobs? Right here, London. Mm, should we travel there to I think it's on the border of Germany on the border of France sure that's that one or this this one I think that's even more for 15 hours journey let's see what the shortest journey is um, so if people were asking me why um, I had to do my videos in two parts and that's because because I've started this channel new I'm not partnered yet on this channel so the more support you guys show and the more views I get, the more easier it will be for me to get partnered. So then I can upload videos for over 10 minutes without making any parts. So here's London to Dover. We've already been to Dover. Um, yeah, we might as well. Should I do this one? Let me do something more long. No, actually, I'll do that one. London to Dover. Um, in a, I think in episode 2, I drove from Dover to Paris. So we are going back to Dover now in this episode 3 and hopefully we have a nice journey. Also I was saying in the mod and patch video that um, I wanted my interior to be black in my truck. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do it like I downloaded the mod and I did put it into the uh, mod folder but I just don't know how to make it um, activate. So if any of you know how to do it just please comment on the inside or message me and just let me know how to do it. So here is my truck as you can see it does look really really nice and if you have seen I have got Moles Gaming HD on the two license plates inside the window inside just behind the windscreen if you can see it yeah so you might as well turn on the engine um, let's put a um, bit of lights on yeah see look at the lights on this it's like the new LED type lights which are on the new Audi cars Shoot, we don't need full lights we just keep these lights on yeah so turn off parking brake and as you can see starting to roll already because it is on a slope so let's get back in first person so if I didn't show you properly in the patch and um, video patch and mod video here is the interior it does look really nice but as I said the black version looks amazing in this so if any of you do know just please let me know so we can do it and it would make the truck a lot more better so now let's go to the depot or factory where we need to collect our delivery which we need to take or our trailer so is anyone coming
Now this truck is just it's just really nice to drive as well. It's not just that it looks nice, but it's really nice to drive. That like it feels different. And also, you might notice while I drive this that I have turned the speed limiter off. Because if you've got 750 brake horsepower engine, you would at least want to get good speed while you're on the motorway when you're taking deliveries. Right now, before I had um, it was it's on a 50 mile, 55 mile an hour speed limiter. Um, that's really slow because when once you're in tenth gear, you already start having problems because it starts struggling. Oh yeah, that's another thing as well in this update that when you're struggling, you can actually hear the engine. Well, when the engine's struggling, when you're um, when you're um, going to shift gears, or if you're doing a late shift, the engine will actually make this weird kind of noise, which will alert you. What time is it? Oh, it's eight o'clock. Is that in morning? I guess so. If it's on twenty-four hour time. Yeah. So as I said before, um, if you do want to know how to do the money hack and the level hack then just please let me know in the comments so then I will make a tutorial it won't even be that long because it's not even that hard to do basically all you need is cheat engine and that will allow you to hack the money and also it will allow you to hack the level and your experience what have I missed it I think I have I think I was just talking too much and I wasn't paying attention also in this mod once again you know if you're driving on the edge here yeah, like if you're like this close if you look at my left mirror I can act whoops what did I hit I don't even know what I hit there anyway so if I if I was driving on the edge of the road that like if you I don't know about in other countries but in the UK it's like we do have these cro uh, markings on the road and stuff in this new update you can actually feel the markings in the wheel which is really good like oh look so now we're here we've got more choices from london so we'll just do this short job for now i'm trying to keep these parts as short as possible since i've started off on this channel because i don't really like making them in two parts and so does the, the viewers and you subscribers so the shorter i make the videos as long as it's under 10 minutes then i can um obviously upload it all in one part but that's why I'm trying to um, do the short journeys but once I get partnered then we can do the long journeys which will be much better but if you guys don't mind in changing parts then just let me know I don't mind doing it it's just the fact of you guys have to change links and all of that and also you will have to wait like an extra hour or 45 minutes for it to be uploaded so let's check this trailer out press 2 so it's what is it? It's like um, what is it? I think it's like a gas tank or something. Or it's got oh, I think it's like them electrical towers or something like that. Anyway, let's get back to this. So is he gonna let us go? Yep, he flashed his lights. And the side, yep, that's fine. Oh yeah, so if you look over here in the display where the speedo is and on the right hand side where it shows the fuel and what does that show? I think it shows the lights and some mileage or something. If you press I on your keyboard, you can actually change the display of what you want to see there. And that is really helpful because if I don't want the map here on the left, now I can actually see a digital version of my speed, what, I, what I'm doing. So if you look there now, it says it's actually in digital mode so it's at 20 miles an hour now and I can change it to basically this is now oil and temperature I guess and so I just leave it on this way it is on standard but when I do like to turn my map off or navigation then I do actually use the um, digital speedo because it does help quite a lot so how long does it say for this journey one hour 45 minutes that shouldn't be that long I think this is the shortest journey actually whoops that was a miss shift yeah so if I do want to do it in two parts as I was saying if it's over 10 minutes then it's not a problem but if I if I had to put it into a single part then it means 
um, editing it and cutting out quite big chunks of the gameplay and that's probably not what you want because you probably want to see the whole journey obviously I'll cut out the boring parts where it might be a lot of traffic and there's nothing to talk about and I, I have got quite a few speeding tickets since I've started this game um, which is not a problem because I'm actually like a what can you call it three quarter millionaire or three quarter of a way of a millionaire well I was a millionaire well I am a millionaire what am I talking about I'm a multi-millionaire because I got seven million pounds but I don't get that because I just um, thought of it now that um, the currency is different in different countries so like in the UK a pound is like um, or is it the other way around yeah I think a pound is like um, one dollar fifty or two pounds in Canada and America so I changed it from euros to pounds and it and the numbers just the figures just stayed the same so that didn't really change so I don't know what that's doing I think it's just for um, your opinion on how you want it or how you want it to look what's wrong with these trucks and cars driving so slow that's a nice trailer I wouldn't mind taking one of them because they got all cars on the back this brown car here it looks like um, what is it called a Ford I know it definitely looks like a Ford but I forgot the model I think it's um, it's not a Fiesta that's the small ones um, I don't know oh yeah I think it's the Ford Mondeo that's what it's called and this truck next to us seems to be the same truck that we have got so if you just go a bit forward and look in the mirror no it's not it's, I think it's a different version of the Volvo like there's the FH16 and there's there's like a FH and there's like a letter in between and then it's 16 I think the FH16 is the the newest model so let's see if we do actually hit over 50 mile, 55 miles an hour yeah we do so the speed limiter which we've taken off did work before in the um, older versions um, we had to actually install a mod to remove the speed limiter but now it's in the actual settings so that's very useful something that C S sorry SCS has definitely done good that's definitely an improvement alright guys so as you can see we are 53 minutes away now so we're not that far I know you shouldn't be really skipping lanes like this but there you go speeding offense minus four hundred forty dollars well was it wait did that just show in euros I think that did you know whoa it's gone a bit too far sir ooh I nearly crashed let me stack it to the back of that mini cooper I can take it out now let's try getting the fast lane so we are in the UK still which means we do drive on the left hand side on the road and what's the fuel saying right now because if you did watch the patch and mod video where I did purchase this truck I did get the extra wheels and the bigger chassis for a smaller fuel tank because I'm not really a fuel efficient driver I like to really put my foot down and get to the places a lot more quicker yeah so um, I really wanted the black um, the black interior like I did say it in the patch and mod video and I said I, I said I was gonna get for um, episode 3 but I just don't know how to get it to work and to activate it so if there is anyone out there I'm saying this again because I really want it if there's anyone out there that does know how to do it then please let me know because I've checked a few tutorials um, the standard one is that you just put the mod into the Euro Truck Simulator mod folder and it should work which is which is what I used to do before and I have done I think have I put any mods? No I haven't put any mods yet in this one but it's what I've done before and it used to work like that but that was mods for like um, the exterior and stuff I've slowed down yeah so that was mods for like the exterior so I don't really know like 
because I really really want it because I know for sure especially when you're driving at night time like um, when it's gone dark and when the blue LEDs or the blue lights come on underneath all the buttons and the display it looks really really nice how did I get a speeding offense again what's the speed limit here if it's 30 yeah and I got speed ticket for driving at 32 miles an hour so I have to slow down here see right now I can actually feel the bumps in the road while I'm turning and also as I said before if you go right to the edge you can actually feel the the markings on the road oh look so we have to go in the left lane please give way is he gonna give way no we have to get behind the truck now so we're gonna have to wait for him to move 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 get out of the way whoa get off the clutch jab the red car's not even giving way and the screen car well I'm gonna have to force them to give me way now So now look what they made me done. Oh, the car's got through anyway. It's not a problem. Also, if you do remember, in the old update, well, all the other trucks, they never had a steering wheel like this and the interior. Like, on this, there's the phone calling button. There's, like, audio controls. Like, I know it was in a few Scania trucks, but the detail in this truck is just completely different. Like, it looks like an act. Um, why didn't the red car go? It was on amber or yellow, whatever you want to call it. These useless drivers. I'm driving a truck. They're driving a car. And they're driving twice as slow. Come on. These red lights take forever. <laughs> We're nearly there. And this is just taking forever. In fact, you know what we might do? I might go straight. We'll see what the question mark is. Because I was saying in my... Was it the first episode, I think? about the question mark I'll just show you exactly what it does so look you drive past the question mark hopefully it works yeah there we go you have discovered a recruitment agency so actually we will do that I think I'll do it in episode 4 I would um, open up my own trucking company so even though I've got so much money I would be able to get some drivers so even while I'm not playing um, I'll have money coming in which is a good thing. Alright, so we are here now. What I'm, a mod that I'm really thinking of doing is um, it's a mod for. You see how these um, depots or factories, whatever you want to call them, have their own sort of names which sound really bad and they don't really sound real. Um, there's, there's a mod out there where you can. Put names like IKEA and all like proper names of um, which trucks you will actually see on the road, like DHL, all of them big names that you see on the road, or all of them big delivery names. You can actually get them. It's a mod. And there's one other thing: um, tra trailers. There's a Yazoo trailer which has really interested me. It really does that make sense? Really interested me. Really has got me interested. It's actually. I think it actually looks like this, you know. This trailer I've got right now sort of looks like that. Is it in? Oh my god, did I just hit the back? I think I did. Yeah, so we can just. Yeah, so I was saying the trailer looks like. It's like a big Yazoo bottle and it's a um, banana flavour, so it's a yellow one. I might be thinking of getting that done. So this is it done and my phone's ringing now, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and rate.